All right, so I am back home. I can do the talking head. Um, about time, I'm sure. It was a lot of uh, shitty quality audio, but me and Mike did a pool session. I'm not putting up the rest of the um, footage where Hostel came just yet because I uh, am going to let the RP one do its thing and all the other guys put theirs out and then I'll put this out today and then by either tomorrow or the next day the other one will be out. Uh, me and Mike trained pull prior to Hostel getting there and so the day prior and then we did push that next day so it was a really good session. Uh, you're going to be able to see a lot of cool shit <coughs> but this was a vertical pull session. <coughs> Sorry my uh, recording went out but this is a vertical pull session i'm actually going to pull up or try to it's just loading forever uh comments from some other videos and go over those at some point but uh for now i started this day with top sets and down sets of uh pull-ups um used assistance this time even though last week I didn't use assistance at first. I used, uh, it was regular pull. Um, so just regular body weight pull-ups. Body weight is up a tad uh, from last week with travel and everything. So I assisted myself with uh, basically back down to the body weight. Um, so my top sets were 5 to 10 pounds of assistance. Down sets were uh, 20 pounds more than that. So uh, you're going to see my... One or two top sets here from uh, from the pull ups, and then one down set or two down sets, whatever it is. And then me and Mike both go into our our uh, rowing variations. So you're gonna see that in this video. Uh, you know, I have to do a little a little flex or whatever and see my back pump. So that's uh that's what you guys are seeing now. Um, I'm actually really happy with the progress of my back. As you guys have seen, I've been uploading a lot of back training, and I honestly, in the past, just kind of ignored it and didn't really post too much back training because I didn't enjoy it. So I think that likely led to a little bit of sandbagging, if I'm being honest, because like it or not, people train a little harder when, <laughs> when that camera is on them. And uh, I think if I start recording my back sessions more, especially since I'm going to be training with Joe Sullivan now, and just having a training partner because I was training solo, obviously, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have some really good back uh, progress, and I have been. I've been having a lot of really good back progress with uh, the last two Mesa cycles or so. If you guys, you know, haven't seen or noticed, but that's kind of like why I'll randomly post a flex or take my shirt off or whatever in the videos. So yeah, I can just happy with the back progress. So I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> want to just ship it off a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get to some of these questions over here. Um, probably from my previous video, which was also a back training session. So I just wanted to answer some of those. Um, somebody said, you've probably checked it out, but one typical reason for having a higher blood pressure in the morning is sleep apnea, which is prevalent in lifters. Yeah, I mean, I have sleep apnea and my blood pressure is, I mentioned that in that video, my blood pressure is a little bit higher in the morning. Um, it also just tends to be a little higher in the morning for most people to begin with. So, but big shifts as well can be a good sign, at least one side effect of having um, potential sleep apnea. So it's not the only factor. You got to have a couple other things going on as well, but that's definitely something you can look at if you're looking at the uh, side effects or just symptoms uh, to see if you uh, have sleep apnea. That's one thing you can look into as, as, well, as, well, as well as like snoring, asking your partner if you have one, like, did I choke in my sleep, snore in my sleep, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that in conjunction with, you know, blood pressure, huge blood pressure shifts through the day, definitely uh, more reason to believe you have it than not. But, um... Somebody asked me what part of DBZ I was watching because that's what I was doing. I'm actually watching the final season. Uh, I just got through Kid Boo and Majin Boo fighting at this point. So it's uh, something that I just, I'm 
really doing better with habit formation and making sure that I am um, at some point at nighttime. So right now it's currently 6 p.m. And I will make it a point that like 8, I, don't, I just don't do anything work related anymore. I put my phone away. Um, if I am on my phone, it's Instagram. And even then I'm going to start cutting that shit out too. I just realized like one cool thing about having your own schedule and doing all this fun shit like travel to do YouTube content or writing books or making articles for uh, muscle and fitness, um, you're always working. Like you pick up your phone and you think about what's the next task I need to be doing. So in some instances are like a nine to five is like mundane. I remember working those and when you get off, you're off. Um, when you're working, especially when you're really trying to push and build something, uh, you are on all the time. And I notice that it's messing with me, especially as I raise my anabolics. I'm just psyche wise. And most people aren't really too open about this kind of shit. So I just, you know, I probably, this is a good opportunity to talk about stuff like that, actually. Um, with that constant feeling of discursive thoughts and, and um, with sc being scattered brain, in conjunction with like feeling the burden from the most amount of farm that I've ever been on, it's like I have to come up with better habits one in the morning and two at night. Um, I downloaded a checklist app. I make my checklist before I turn the phone away. Um, I recheck it in the morning. I do some kind of like brain stuff for, for myself before I uh, look at my phone in the morning when I wake up. And I think all of these things have been helping quite a bit, um, as well as taking nootropic like Nupept, um, some ashwagandha, having some 5-HTP and some uh, NK2 and uh, some other things, just supplementation that seems to help quite a bit with like oxidative stress and things of that nature to keep it low, especially in the morning. But no phone really, um, maybe 30 minutes to an hour after I wake up. And um, yeah, just, it, I think it's been helping quite a bit. I am more willing to continue to put out content on my channel because that was, this is gonna have to be the one thing that, that gives if something has to give. Because everything else I do for like RP, with the apps, with the, with the books, with, you know, all these other opportunities and networking and things like that, uh, that's just like top priority. So this channel I hope continues to grow and I really appreciate all the support on it and stuff, but like, if something has to give, it'll be this. I'll still upload, but it'll be just less frequent. So as you notice, when I traveled to Bangkok, all I did out there was work. And I was on 24 seven, just like when I'm going to sleep, people in the United States are waking up, so I'm on my phone. When I wake up, people in the United States, it's the end of the day, but I'm networking out there in Bangkok, trying to get uh, collaborations set for November, December, and just like meeting and traveling all around Bangkok, Thailand, and the Pattaya and all that stuff. So it, <laughs> It's definitely, uh, it's a lot, but build good habits. That's like kind of just the, the, the um, you know, premise here. Build really good habits around what you do and make your mental health your priority, uh, especially in if you feel that like thoughts become a little more discursive, if you feel like there are lapses in your short term, you're like on your phone, you're like, what the fuck was I about to do? And I was noticing that that was happening all the time. And since um, since making these habits, I uh, I feel a lot better um, day to day. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, let's see. Big ups on the Prime Extreme Road Tip. I've been having a hell of a time getting it to feel nice. Um, I think that this person said that it was good, so that makes me happy. Uh, somebody asked, is 79 my resting heart rate average? And I said, yes. Uh, 60 to 100 is like the national average for the United States. It's totally fine. Having it lower in, in that like mid-range is probably better. But, you know, if you're really well trained cardiovascularly, you might be in the 50s, uh, maybe lower. Um, well, yeah. My upon waking... Resting heart rate, I think on my blood pressure thing, read like 
70 something and somebody was like whoa so i was like you know well, it's not a big deal um yeah so let me just that was most of the comments for that one i'll go to another video since i have quite some time to chit chat on this bad boy let's see we got another eight or so minutes um click on my videos that was the travel a little bit back with two times for your training let's go to that one why not why not guys owls sort by newest um somebody told me to need better mic and cleaner editing i know guys I know. but it's just not gonna happen until this channel gets like over 100k or something um <laughs> how do i track my salt intake i'm i eyeball basically everything but um i know that one quarter of a teaspoon is 516 milligrams so as long as i can do like uh Pinches or something of that nature. Uh, I, I typically know what about a, a, a thousand milligrams is, and then plus the food stuff. So I keep food consistent, and I keep the added consistent for the most part. Like I'll add a gram to my intra shake. I'll add a gram to my pre workout. So it's an added two grams on top of like what I already have. So um, you can do it however you want, though. You can weigh it. You can um, have an app tracker. Most app trackers have exactly what you're eating. It'll have the sodium, potassium, all those vitamins, minerals, uh, everything. So you can plug and play and just see if you uh, um, plug and play and see if uh, you're at like the right arm where you want to be, depending on where your water is. Um, let's see. Look up to you, Mike, both a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks for the good time, content, engineering, honest advice. I'm doing my best. Uh, first mess with the RPI Hertz app. Do you know, take discipline? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh, stick with it, though. I think you're going to really, especially down the line when your joints are healthy and you're feeling really good and fresh uh, and you're jacked as fuck, you'll, you'll be happy you did stuff like that. I remember my first deload ever. This is a fun little story. My first deload ever. It was the last day of deload, and I was training. I was going to be training back. Um the next day and I was going with all my friends from college. Um, I was a freshman. I did the deload seven days on the seventh day. I dreamt at nighttime, my entire back session the next day, I woke up with a pump because I think I was squeezing my muscles in my sleep because I was that ready to go train. Um, this was like year four or five of being natural. Um, probably the first time I ever did like, a, a, like the first time I ever did a plan deload. Like obviously like you train like a dipshit like I did and we all did. You get hurt. You, uh, other things happen. You deload, you just don't call it a deload. And then you get stuck in that mindset. Well, I don't fucking deload. I actually just posted a reel with Nick Walker about that. Um, but it was my first planned structured deload of seven days where like the last couple days I just didn't go to the gym and fuck, I woke up pumped and I was like, fuck, I gotta go train back now. It was crazy. It was really cool. Um, so hundred percent, they take discipline, but you, you will think yourself and I, you know, I've deloaded every four to eight weeks since I did that deload my entire bodybuilding career. So the last 10 years or so. Um, cap, because I had a cap conversation. What is the, what does cap mean? Cap comes from people getting gold teeth to replace their tooth. So you were either real and had a real gold tooth, or you were fake and still had your tooth, but it was capped. It was gold and the cap could come off. So cap is fake or lying, and no cap is real or being honest. Wow. All right. That's a large leap in logic, but I guess that's most fucking cool uh, urban lingo. Yeah, that's that's wild. <laughs> Damn. I, I don't get it still. Uh, you're never going to catch me saying that shit. I know... Uh, I'll say a lot of things in jest, like uh, me and Mike will say YOLO all the time, but dude, I hated that shit when it came out too. And I understand that that's like at least an acronym, like you only live once. Yeah, for sure. 
Um, but people just started saying it for everything. And like, I was already such an old man in college. So everybody in my like, uh, second year and first year floor at the university, they were all saying YOLO and all this cool shit. And I was just like, God, you guys are so lame. Like, fuck. <laughs> but I've just always been a, a cranky old man, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that guy commented, he said, I tried the season on the Prime Extreme Row this last week, and I got a way better stimulus out of it. Fuck yeah. But like, I could get a good stretch. Had to fiddle with the chest height. Me too. A little bit, but managed to get it, so they're a good stretch at the beginning. Dude, hell yeah. I'm glad that tip works for you. Um, I'll try to keep giving little advice like that in some of these videos. I know I just answer Q&A kind of style of this shit, but, you know, if you guys have any questions about the exercises I selected here, um, the two vertical pull, the row, and then me and Mike just hopped in and we did some delts. And I'm just going to finish this off with a voice recording because twice this has um, crashed my computer. But me and Mike finished with delts and biceps. Like, again, if you have any questions about any of the technique, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, differences between mine and Mike technique. We usually have reasons. Um, things of that nature. Like, feel free anytime. Uh, all good down to answer questions like I have been with these Q&A's kind of um, and sometimes in the comments as well kind of trying to answer a few of y'all so uh, as always guys thank you so much I really appreciate you watching liking, sharing, subscribing all that good shit if you like this style of video uh, thumbs up let me know Keep and I'll keep rolling these out um, you know these are pretty low uh, maintenance and I can just use my phone to record them and then do a little voiceover so uh, next video is going to be the rest of the Sam Sulik stuff that we did in Mike's gym. Uh, see all the hostile guys. Samson Dowda, Hunter Labrada, Seth Barossi. It was Ian was there. Like it was, it was just cool. It was a really good time. So that'll be the next vid. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, see you then.